Hi, this is Shane, and welcome back to another episode of Omnifactory. For a minute, I couldn't remember there. And um, I've done a bit of mining. I went down to Bedrock to see what I could see, and I couldn't find anything flat on Bedrock, but there was lots of thing things around it. But um, yeah, basically, you've got to just look around and see what you can see. There's no, I don't know. There's not. Is there's it's it's a bit weird so for example in the building next door let's see if I can get back down to it there's loads of redstone and actually we can go there and finish a quest because I made a, a satchel although the basic backpack is not satchel it's a backpack well satchel is a satchel a basic satchel but it's very very basic it has literally what nine slots and that's it but I was saying in this basement there's a lot of stuff there's a lot of redstone coal copper gold and if you come down into the ravine there is an entire cavern full of redstone I mean that is not an exaggeration it really it literally is a cavern full of redstone is it this way I think it's this way no that's it's not that way it's the other side if I fold the torches no that is now that's where I got distracted by this black stuff not quite sure what it is. Where did I see it? This side? No. Oh, it's down there. That's why. So if I come through here. And then come over here. There is a whole cavern full of redstone which is pretty cool so we can check off one of the quests in the book okay let's get back up to the upper room and at least get all the ore that no we don't need to go that way I walked straight past it I need to go back up I need to look out for the cobblestone. <laughs> Where I have cobblestone, that generally means I've been there. So there is a... There is a quest where you need to get 24 redstone, 12 copper, 12 tin, 12 coal and 6 gold. And I've gone ahead and put um, Ore Excavator back in because I've updated the mod pack. Is it going to... Yeah, it does take all of it. Cool. And um, I made the raw iron axe head. But it doesn't work as it says it should. I'm not quite sure why. Because I tested it before I put our excavator back in and it was um it didn't like it it wouldn't break the 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 tree and bits of the tree kept disappearing so I just left it did I not bring a see it's that's te oh that's te tetrahedrite we need redstone no this all seems to be tetrahedrite Okay, let's get um let's be rebellious and just mine not mine straight down because that might be a bit detrimental to my health. Is this still all tetrahedrite? It is. I'm going to have to go into the other cavern to get um redstone 
How much copper do I have? Five copper. Any gold? Tetrahedrite, gravel tetrahedrite. And let's put some stuff in the backpack. Um, stone bricks. Tin ingot. Some of the stuff that we don't need. And granite. So, oh yeah. I was... Is that still... That's still tetrahedrite. I was supposed to go and mine, but I didn't get a chance to. Because I went and set up all my crafting tables upstairs. So I now have a crafting table for each of the tools that I made last week. And they're all labelled so I can find them. I mean that should make things easier for when we're ready to when I'm ready to craft craft more tools. Okay. Um copper that's one. That's eight. There was some gold. Oh, there's the gold. There's only two. I should have made a pickaxe. Should have made a pickaxe. Let me teleport home and get my pickaxe. Yeah, J. Home. That's 55. Oh, it was totally different. I thought that the um that building next door had lots was a had lots of redstone, which it does, but there's another one that's close by that has as well. Uh, but I can't believe Oh I have lots of gold. I should have looked in here first. So you have gold, we can start smelting that up. We have tin, we can start smelting that up. So we need 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, tin. Twelve gold. That's seven. That's eight copper. I don't think I had any more copper in here. So it's just copper and redstone. This is red, yeah, it is redstone. I mean, it's pretty cool in here, actually. Let's just light it up just a little bit. I mean, Look at that, that is really quite wonderful. I don't know, I, I geek out over things like this. Okay, um, I suspect. All right, let's. Because we only need 24. That's probably more than enough. Uh, 19 cinnabar. So I'm guessing that if we smelt this, it will turn into the normal redstone ore, I'm hoping. Yeah. So that's 39, yeah. Iron, don't want that. Cobblestone. Gravel and water. Not a good mix. <laughs> Alright, let's... This must be part of the same ravine that is under my building next door. 
It must be. So if that's only a hundred blocks away, and that's that way. I think it is. And at the moment, I do have the mobs turned off because I want to be able to do this in peace. <laughs> Um, no, we're not going that way. Okay, yeah, it must be the same ravine. Um, redstone hall. I came back for a pickaxe, that's what I came back for. If I make a standard a standard pickaxe we should be okay okay let's go back and get some more we got the redstone we need the copper and the gold. No, we've got gold. So we just need the copper, I think. I think that's all we needed, just the copper. Let's have a quick check. we got gold. Oh, we need coal as well. So we got tin. It's just copper. We've got the redstone. So it's tin and coal. Uh, we need to go down. Down chain. So this is all what? Uh, this is all coal. So if I vein mine this. How much coal did it say we needed? 39? Or did I make that up? Oh, 12. And we have 24, so that's fine. So it's just then... Um, we got copper, we got gold, we got redstone. We got copper, we've got gold, we got redstone. I think we've got everything. So now we just need to go back and smelt it up and get our reward. Please stop that. Thank you. This looks pretty cool. I like that. Although it looks a bit like a dungeon. I'm not sure why it reminds you of a dungeon. But um but yeah. There's rice in here so we can at least make slime balls from the rice dough, which is good. Um Yeah. The spawn is in every building, which is really bugging me. Right, let's turn the monsters back on. <laughs> Options, easy. I really have to go and mi see if I can mine with the monsters on. I don't know if I can, but we'll see. Right, so we need 24 redstone. Uh, 13. It's raining. Right, there's 13 redstone. 12 gold. And... 12 tin. Oh, we didn't have enough copper. I thought we had enough copper. I wonder if there's any kind of ore doubling in this. But it says you need all these things before you get any further. Let's go back and get some more copper. Yeah, sun it's oh it's sunset. So while that's going, because my house is chunk loaded. Oh, we've turned the mobs back on, so this should be interesting. Watch me now get massacred <laughs> as I try to mine. 
Um, yes. Copper. So this will be a good test. How many copper did we have? Seven? And we want a shovel. it takes longer with a thing oh I'm going I'm going to get massacred I don't like this definitely don't like this let's just stay here for a second and check three that's nine I think we needed three more. Um, oh, there's some down here. All right, no more. Let's run. Okay, let's run. Although we haven't seen any mobs, but... Oh, I can hear them. But like I said, the buildings are just full of spawners. Which is really annoying. And of course now the run back to the house is going to be literally that. Literally that. A run. And I left the front door wide open. Not good. Eek. Right. Alright, well that's... Oh, okay. We've got a stack of redstone. Does it automatically all double? Or triple? I don't know. Oh, we've got seven copper already. Okay, cool. Put those in. And the gravel. The gold is cooking up. Do we need one more gold? I think we do. No. Seven and five is... That's twelve. No, that, that was right. We only needed twelve. Okay, so that's enough for that. Well, at least for the quest. So as I was saying, I've set up everything across here, so then I can make all the stuff that I need. Let's sleep so it stops raining. Did you stop raining? Yes, you did. Good, good. And do we get the rest of our gold? Wasn't that it? Oh, the coal. Yeah, okay. Uh, that's coal already, so we only need eight more. Actually, let's just put that in there. So hopefully this will hurry up and smelt. And then what do we need to do after that? Okay. Um, oh, I did this. I made the raw iron axe head, but as I said, it it um doesn't seem to work properly. Because when because let me just double check and read it. And make sure that I'm not reading this. Greg Tech axes will fully chop down a tree if you chop down the bottom block. However, it absorbs quite a lot of durability to do this. 
Only Grug Tech axes have this functionality. Functionality. Vanilla and other axes will not work for this. Grug Tech axes are the ones you have to craft a head for, then combine with a stick to make the axe. Okay. So, do I still have it with me, or did I take it out? I think I took it out. Let's take out some of this stuff. Did I just put in... Right. Um, we don't need to put cobble in there. And where is... Where's the axe? Oh, there it is. Alright, we'll try this tree. I'm hitting the bottom, and if you notice the progress bra, it keeps going up to about 80%, but it never actually finishes. And it doesn't matter which block I put it on, it will do that. So that isn't working and it's not because I have vein miner in it because I tried it before I put vein miner in that's why I put it back in because I've updated the pack and I left vein miner out because I thought well you know we we read that at the end of the last episode and it said that you can that it's you know it's good for that good for vein mining trees so I thought I'll leave it out we'll be fine and um yeah it doesn't do that so I'm not quite sure what's going on there although the axe is very good for killing pigs there's a pig spawner in one of these buildings and I've just been standing by the door and waiting for pigs to spawn <laughs> and then I will kill them off Alright, so that stuff should have smelted by now. There's copper. There. Okay, more materials. We did that. Claim. Rubber. A plant ball, a slime ball and sticky resin. Um, going out in search of a rubber tree is a viable option for sure. However, if this isn't appealing, you can also shear leaves and make plant balls out of them. Plant balls smelt into slime and slime smelt into rubber. You'll want to transition to rubber trees at some point though, since the ratio of leaves to rubber is quite poor. Okay, it says you can shear leaves, so let's... Oh, it opened up the satchel quest and we got that, which is cool. What kind of shears do we have in this pack? It would help if I put in the correct correct type of shears. We got iron, we got clay, we got dark, we got wooden, diamond, tin, silver. Lots of different shears. Um tin. Tin gives us what? Tin is okay. I should have checked to see what the recipe is. Nope. Can we not craft them? Okay, we can craft iron shears in the table. Okay, so what do we need? We needed two plates, which is here. Um, right, two plates and what else? Let's not put that there. A file and a hammer. Let's no. All right, 
we need a file and a hammer. Do I have a raw iron hammer on me? No, I don't have a file and a hammer in that. Not in that either. The only problem I have with the the iron tools is that they can be hard to see. Which is a real pain because they're very faint. Alright, a hammer and a file. Keep clicking the wrong one. Right. Shears. Okay, we need iron. Can you do you need aluminium or can you use an iron file? Let's change that to iron and let's change that to iron. Yeah, you can. Right, so we have the shears. And let's rub a leaf. Okay, got lots of rubber rubber leaves. At least I hope so. Yep. Oh, we got tons. I wasn't expecting that many. Do the leaves go black? Oh, do the leaves grow back? If you leave the trunk, we'll see. Okay, and... So it said the plant balls, plant balls and slime and slime to rubber. Alright, so a plant ball is leaves in a circle. Oh, any kind of, anything can give you a plant ball. So you didn't necessarily need rubber trees. This is something, actually you know, I don't know if we'll actually need to set up a crafting table for that. So plant balls, and then, okay, um, press R, no, U uses so if I put them in a furnace it will give us two slime balls all right let's take one plant ball and put it in and then I'm guessing if you smelt it again it will give you a piece of rubber Sticky resin, not rubber. Is that what we needed? Yes. Okay, well that's not, that's interesting. And let's claim our Omni Pennies. And claim our Omni Pennies. They've changed it. It was Omni Coins, but now it's Omni Pennies. The shop no longer appears in the, in, uh, what do you call it, in this thing in the sidebar so I'm not sure how you're supposed to use the shop from dust to wires okay this is where it's going to get a little bit complicated rubber sheets okay rubber can be hammered into sheets and I'm guessing you need a uh, a hammer for that. Uh, 
rubber sheet. Yes. But we are not going to get into that this week because it's the end of the episode. Well, I mean, that kind of, that flew by really fast. Oh, we've got a party going on out there. Party of three waiting. Might as well go to sleep so I can finish the episode. But, um, yeah, we got we got a bit done this week. We um, went looking for some ores, finished a couple of quests. And then next week... I guess we can look at finishing off these furnaces. Furnaces, furni. We can finish off the furnaces and see if we can get into, oh, storage. That's the other thing we need to get into. So the store, the furnaces and storage. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel. And I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.